Alright people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duel. So, this is it, the final duel. So, we're skipping a whole bunch, but of course, we will hopefully come back to it, like I said. Uh, this is not it for Legacy of the Duels. This is not even it for Duelist, uh, you know, um, Duel Masters. Duel Monsters. Duel Monsters. Duel Masters. That's a completely different card game. Hello? Duel Monsters. Uh, like I said there's actually some more DLC. We have uh, more Duelist Kingdom. We have the Dragon. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my money that I, the little bit amount of money that I make off of YouTube, that funnels in PayPal and funnel it back into the channel for content. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that DLC with uh, that PayPal money. So yay! So that means that we're not done with Duelist Kingdom, Duelist Duel Monsters, Legacy of Duelist, all of that. So uh, you know, stay watching, stay watching. So we're just gonna skip all of that and go straight to the final duel. We're gonna be playing as Yugi Duel against Pharaoh and wrapping this series up. And you know what? I'd actually be fine if this is the way that this, this season did. Like I said, I did not watch the dragons. Like I stopped the dragons, but I guess this would be a super short series if they just went from being Merrick straight to, you know, the finale. Uh, like I said, there are some good content and, you know, things about the dragons. I just kind of got bored of it and dropped it, and there was other things, and, you know, the past and the pharaoh and all of that, but I just did not watch it. So, uh, if this how it ended, you know, because like I said, pharaoh, he got the Egyptian gods, he got all the millennium items, just wrap it up, and pharaoh, go away. So, let's see how uh, Legacy of the Duelist wraps it up. Now that the pharaoh saved the world, there is one last thing he had to do. Move on to the afterlife. So they're not even going to be, you know, specific about what, what he did to save the world. You know, this is just, you're just assuming right after Merrick. Uh, guided by Merrick, Isizu, and Odeon, the team that went to his sacred underground temple that housed the gateway to a the afterlife. So I guess they're being like, hey, you beat Merrick, and now we're going to see him. To open the door, the pharaoh had to seal away the Egyptian gods in the seven millennium Isles and had one final duel. A a ritual duel against you. You see, if this is the way they ended the show, I'd be fine with that. But no, then the show would be super short. The duel would determine whether Yugi could now stand on his own as his own man and not need the Pharaoh's help anymore. This is the first time in my life that I hoped for my opponent's victory. But in order for this duel to truly test our readiness to, to separate, I must fight with all of my strengths. Pharaoh, now that you've left the Millennium Puzzle, I can... I can't hear your thoughts anymore, but somehow I still know what you're thinking, and I feel the same way. <laughs> like, I, 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 I can't cheat anymore. I can't read your mind. I, I, I don't know. I mean, hey, hey, hand over that Millennium Eye, all right? You have the Millennium Puzzle around your neck, so I get the Millennium Puzzle. Actually, we both have Millennium Puzzle. I get the Millennium Eye, you know? And then Yugi, I'll give you this Millennium Eye. Hello? All right, no. <laughs> if you taught me anything, it's to put your heart into your deck and do it with everything you've got. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright, so we're just gonna hop right into it. So hopefully, Yugi's deck is a complete crap compared to the Pharaohs. Uh, cause, uh, is this the first time that you actually duel as Yugi? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Usually it's always just the, you know, the Pharaoh taking over. So, uh, hopefully we can actually do something decent. Cause lately we've been opening up like ass. So, eh, this hand's not bad. It's definitely not bad. We got. We got a uh, Gamma and we got uh, uh, at least Silent Magician, so si possibly Silent Magician can do something. You give you. I mean, yeah. I can't say I can't say you say you. Wow, wow. Never mind. This sounds great. Open over Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. Let's go, my boy. Let's go ahead and Pot of Greed. Get that plus one. Okay, and Pharaoh's like, that's some bullshit. So, ooh, Catapult Zone is re well? Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's a, that's a new Earl card. Wow, I got the Monster Reborn as well. Wow. Wow. So. You're telling me that I can go ahead and pitch this. Uh. Uh. from your hand by tributing. Nah, oh, you're crap. Uh, now nah, I can actually Monster Born, then level up. Wow. Wow, it's just level straight up into, uh, what's it called? That, that's pretty good. Oh my god, can I just fucking level up her? Like, can I just level up my Silent Magician into Silent Magician level 8? Dude, that's broken if I can do that. That is some broken fucking shit. You know what? You know, I was thinking about, you know, summoning the sword guy. What does he do? I can't remember what he does. The level 7. What does it do? Unaffected by... I think he, like, negates spells or he's unaffected by spells. No, this one's unaffected by spells. What the fuck does the level 7 one do? I don't know, but... You know what? Fuck it, my boy. Fuck it, my boy. Let's just go straight. Level up. Like, fuck you, fucking... Pharaoh, I got the good good. Damn, this little fucking 3,500 titties right here. 
damn, he's like, ah, oh, shit, like, yeah, ticky ticky, yeah, so, uh, I have Monster Reborn as well, so, I could summon him as well, can I, like, look at the detail of this card, alright, alright, during your summoning phase, after this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can go, alright, so that sounds pretty good, so I think I'll go ahead and do that play. I'll watch him have fucking Mirror Force, I'll fucking lose my shit, I'll be like, oh, fuck you, Pharaoh. <laughs> So, if this goes through, this is a pretty strong play. So, he has Mirror Force! Fuck you, Pharaoh! Come on, man! Uh, I did all of that just for you to have Mirror Force. Ah, uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, uh, that sucks. I hate Mirror Force. I won with it last game, and now I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to lose to it this game. Oh, so he has the King's Knight, Queen's Knight. Wow, and he has the fucking kick, the combo too? Fuck you, Yami, Pharaoh, Yugi. I never got that playoff. The entire time I was stuck playing that fucking King's Knight, Queen's Knight bullshit. I never fucking got that play. And you're just like, Mirror Force, got it right now? Like, alright, alright, down to 3,000. Like, wow. Yeah, this is the fucking final duel, alright? This is fucking the final duel of bullshit. Well, now I got Mirror Force, so. Hey. Alright, so once per turn, if monster will be destroyed by battle, you can send one rock. Okay, so. That's not bad. So, I can actually. I can actually summon uh, Gamma, crash into this Queen's, and then protect myself from being destroyed. And like I said, I have the Mirror Force, so... Yep. Catapult them. Um... No, not you. You. Yep, send you. I'm not destroyed, but you are. Hey. And like I said, I got the Mirror Force. This duel's not over yet, Pharaoh. I, I also have Mirror Force, which I believe was limited to one back then. At least I hope so. Hey, you can catch this mirror force, my boy. Mmm. Never mind, you have called the hunted. Never fucking mind. Yeah, I'm gonna use catapult them again. Fuck you. Fuck you, Pharaoh. You fucking suck. I don't give a fuck. Yamu, Yormu. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. But I still take the damage. <laughs> uh be something for Cursed Dragon. It would be a great time to actually, you know, use the Rock Golem to make an XC play. Oh, so, uh, now I can attack over, uh, hopefully, the Dex Knight. Yep. Hey. Hey, fuck you, Pharaoh. My life points are definitely down, but I have the high ground. You know, it's like all the Sith versus Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> I have the high ground. I shouldn't be saying shit like I have the high ground and quoting and Sith and all. I've never seen a Star Wars movie. Or not one. Not one, alright? So, I know. I should not be saying shit. Ah. Alright. Ah. Alright. Well, I don't have a spellcaster monster, so I guess I'll just set this. You know what the suck thing is? Is that I'm assuming that he probably has Dark Magician Girl in his deck, so if I played it, he can summon Dark Magician Girl. Oh, what's up? Ah. Oh. Wow, he believed in the heart of the cards and got himself a Swords of the Villain Light. Fuck you, fair. Wow, now I'm getting Swords of the Villain Light. We're literally just getting the same fucking cards, alright? Uh, I don't believe all the monsters in my graveyard are Earth, so... No, no, they're not. So, that sucks. Alright, go ahead. So I can't even use my fucking Golem. I might as well just summon an attack with it. So, you're gonna stall for a couple turns, and I'm gonna stall for a couple turns, so they both get Swords of the Villain Light. Like, Alright, got Marshmallow on, so at least if shit hits the fan, I have something. Watch him get another fucking sword to the light or something. Nope, oh, nope, oh, damn, Pharaoh, damn, Pharaoh. Eee, the gadgets. So, I mean, I have some pretty good things. Like I said, I have to level up, I have the gadgets. Like, you're playing King's Knight and shit with the knights? Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'd rather have the gadgets over the knights any day. I just straight up plus and search off of them all the time, so. Alright. They're tricky. Oh, well, technically a spellcaster type monster is declaring attack, but I don't think it, like I said, he might just summon Dark Condition Girl. Dark Magician Girl would suck because I'm planning on crashing with this, so. You know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh! Alright. I can just go ahead and keep sending rock monsters to protect myself from being destroyed. But I still take the damage! Uh, 
I need to stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. So, I guess I'll go ahead and summon. Yep. Search. So, I might be able to end this duel, maybe? Maybe, baby. Like I said, I can go ahead and crash. What the fuck does this do? Okay. Oh, god damn, Pharaoh. Yeah, replay. Get the token. I can't kill a token. Great. Kill a token. Kill a token. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Send one tricky special summon. Blah blah blah. Okay. I'm about to say, can the tokens attack? Like, no, they can't. All right. Good. 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 Um. Wish I could like, see right now. Fucking <laughs> Daryl's like, see what is that? <laughs> I mean, he could turn the tokens to attack position. No, just let him die. Oh uh, man, I'm running hard points. Oh, he didn't even turn the tokens to attack. Good, 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 good. Wow, I'm just getting swords are really light out the ass. Alright, do I have any more gadgets in there? Nope. Wow, I only play one of each? What kind of fucking scrub am I? I am a fucking scrub a dub dub, my boy. Scrub a dub dub dub. -dub. Alright, so. You take out a token. He didn't turn into attack mode, so yay. Kill you. Hopefully, you don't have another mirror force, but like I said, I, think it, I believe it's limited to one. And attack. Alright. What you got? What you got, Pharaoh? Is this it? I have the high ground, I'm up on resources, and you fucking burn me for fucking 16. You, think you fucking magical cylinder me, I'll fucking kill you. I will literally fucking jump to this computer screen and beat your ass, my boy. Or another Mirror Force. Or another Mirror Force! I thought Mirror Force was limited to one! Definitely not! Never fucking mind! So it's like, what the fuck do we have? Like, it's just fucking retarded. So. So you're telling me that we have multiple mirror forces and all the banned cards? It's like, what? Like, and of course, he fucking believes in the heart of the cards and top decks another fucking mirror force. Like, fuck you, Pharaoh. Ugh, can this duel just end already? What the fuck's in my deck? Give me something skull. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna poke you with little shit. It's not like you can, you know, game me. Ah, oh, fuck it. You take this 13, Pharaoh. I'm gonna win this duel, you fucking bitch. I hate you. <laughs> I'm hitting me with Mirror Force. So, Swords has one more turn, and then I can activate another one. Damn, Pharaoh. If you believe in the heart of the cards, you can't even fucking come after me with fucking marshmallow shit. I was thinking about getting the pot of greed with uh the gold sark, but no, I was like, I'm just drawing that shit. Hey, damn! Damn, fucking swords out the ass. Look at fucking pharaohs just sitting there fucking being like, really? Like, yeah. Like, boy, I'm about to end you with a fucking marshmallow on, my boy. Next turn, next turn. If you don't do shit, I'm gonna end you with a marshmallow on. But you didn't see that fucking coming. I will literally just go Marshmallow and attack for game directly. <laughs> the fuck can be activated? Oh. No. 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 This would have been pretty good if I had my fucking gadgets, but they got hit with a fucking mirror force. Got the nipples blown back. No. No. Alright, give my son's call. No. You know what? Fine. Fucking activate it. It's so annoying. Alright, Pharaoh. Uh, that's only 13. Shit. Shit. I wanted to end it with a marshmallow, but I don't think I can. So, I'll just end it with the fucking... The savior of all. My fucking summon skull. The summon skull is putting so much work in this, in this series. Probably my favorite monster from this era. Hey. <laughs> Some scores won me so many duels. Congratulations, well done. Yugi, you've achieved a great victory for all of us. I was focused so hard on playing the game that I forgot that 
what winning this duel would actually mean. By defeating you, I sent you a wish for good. No, you've opened the door for me. Thanks to you, my spirit can finally be at rest again. I'll be back where I belong. Freight brought the two of us together for a reason, and we fulfilled our destiny. We protected mankind from the return of the Shadow Games, and we've both grown tremendously along the way. I'm gonna miss you. You do realize you will never truly be apart, right? The gift of kindness you've given me and the courage I've given you will remain with us, and that will forever bind us together. Right. Now the battle ritual is complete. The Eye of... What? <laughs> There should, it seems like there should be another vowel there. Would that? I don't, I don't know. The guard that guards the door to the spirit world has awa has awakened. The spirit of the great pharaoh, which has trapped within the spirit of the great pharaoh, which has trapped in the Millennium Puzzle for thousands of years, is now free. The time has arrived. Tell the Eye of Widget your name. I am the son of King Nam Kanon. My name is Atam. Thank you. Now you. Like, who? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, that is it. And, uh, we are done here for at least this, what's in-game of Legacy of Duels for, uh, Duel Monsters. Like I said, uh, there's plenty of DLC. Uh, I said we can go back to Duel's Kingdom, then we have the dragon, so don't worry, we're not done here yet. And even then, we can always go back and look at this, look at this. Uh, I said... Series complete is not even done. Campaign, total campaign, because we're only halfway done because we could actually flip it around and do the other way duel. So, like I said, we could do that too. too. Uh, so, we got GX, 5D, Zex, or ArcV, and uh, probably even fucking um, Reigns if they decide to update uh, Legacy of the Duel. So, I don't even know. I don't know. So, we are done here for now, people. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. It's been a fun ride, but we still got plenty more to do. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, and uh, next time with some more Legacy of Duels and other Yu-Gi-Oh!-esque Let's Plays. If you haven't already, make sure you check out uh, our Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play series of Tag Force 5, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. I'm not in this.